do it. Promo That's point two. Job. One, Parker. <laughs> I think the mixture of like games, information, and then the lighthearted comedic aspect of this kind of made for a unique format, a unique show that was a lot of fun. There's sort of no way around the fact that some of these ideas are complicated, right? They are complicated ideas, and we wanted to push the boundaries in terms of not just sticking to just the simple part. Let's actually get to, here's, here's the question that no, nobody in the world knows the answer to. But because of that, we knew it was important to also mix in the fun, right? To have things like, oh, we have Reggie Watts doing comedy with a robot. That mix of, all right, let's play a game that gets us into an idea and then explain that idea and then take it to the next level and then explore this next more complicated part with another game or demo, that sort of, that, that's what Proof of Concept really is, is that, is that balance. Working with Reggie Watts was difficult because he was making me laugh so hard. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Working with Maz Jobrani was a dream. I've been listening to him on NPR for a decade. The concept of the show itself uh, is a concept that I believe in, which is to be curious. It's been a show that I feel is good to be a part of. We had the one of the original guys from the MIT Blackjack team, where they went to Vegas and they counted cards and made Mil hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, I don't know, um, until he was kicked out and is no longer allowed to come back. The actual scientist guest that we had, uh, Eugenia Chang, who's, who's one of the world experts on the idea of infinity, well, she's in our Infinity episode telling you about it. I think shows like this are really important to be entertaining and stretch one's mind at the same time. There's plenty of entertainment that doesn't stretch our minds, and there's plenty of stretching our minds that is not entertaining at all. And I just think that things get deeper inside our consciousness if we have fun and are entertained at the same time. And so that's why I think this kind of show is really important. This project was unique in that we had a lot of different and unique set pieces throughout the course of our series. The set itself was a kind of art deco explosion of an art piece. The art team did a great job. They, they knocked it out of the park. It was really impressive to see them uh, not only make it, but make it and get it done, like turn it over overnight. I wasn't entirely sure which direction I was going to go in. I'm usually bombarded with, we want this, we want that, and they want it to look like this. So I had a lot of creative freedom. I came up with a art deco design mixed with a modern twist and industrial twist with it. I think my favorite set would have to be the Alice in Wonderland maze. I kind of went a little crazy, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Being able to add the little details and little things on the floor, and we had stuff up top for the camera to look down on and being able to move throughout it with different elements. Oh <laughs> We're having God. too much fun. <laughs> Some of the choices that I made to kind of uh, build the look of this show were really based off of mostly what the set design was and what Michelle built out for us and how I could make it look good and, and make sure that I was giving uh, the production designer the justice that she deserves. But I also want to make sure that it wasn't just a bright poppy show because there are so many elements of this show. It's not just a science show, it's a game show, it's an educational show, it's about theory. So there, you know, we had a bar scene, we had a comedy show, there's so many different elements that it was hard to just pick one look for and so I tried to build off of one look and then just make sure it's as consistent as possible. We get to do really cool stuff every day for our jobs. From day one, the first time we yelled cut, the conversation on set wasn't about like what's for lunch or what are you doing later. It was about the game that we had just finished filming. And I can't tell you how many times this happened. After we cut, someone comes over and they're like, wait, so what what are the physics of us living in this simulation? Or or wait, I think I have another answer to this. Or even our camera operator, the very first day was like, my mind is blown. On the very first day, we're like, just wait, Ace. <laughs> wait till what's coming for the rest of the show. I'm curious what the contestants are going to pick to do. And I'm also wondering what's going through their heads right now, <laughs> if they even know what they're competing in. I hope they don't. I think that's more fun. Uh, I'm excited because I don't really know what's going on. So when I first walked in the room, I just saw, you know, the proof of concept sign behind and then um, them standing in the middle. I, I had no idea. I was told it was something to do with counting and guessing, but definitely did not know that there was that smart of a way to actually know the right answer. I thought we were just all going to be guessing, 
but not that someone is gonna actually know the right answer and know how to find it. So yeah, definitely wasn't expecting that. I haven't seen anything like this before, so I think to be one of the first people to try it and to hopefully win, I'm, I'm yeah, I can't wait. Not often are you part of a project where the crew gets to interact, not only behind the camera, but in front of camera. I think it made for an environment where everyone felt included. It felt like a fun, collaborative environment where everybody was participating. So during the show, we used our crew a couple of times for elements in the show. Hey team. Hi there. I have a question for you. And oftentimes it's funny to see crew because, you know, we're usually behind the camera. We're oftentimes afraid to be in front of the camera. Uh, that's why we hide behind our lenses. But it, it's great to see everyone be involved. And it kind of feels like the show is not just being made for somebody, but we're also making it for ourselves too. Because of that. We can do this all day. I think watching the show, you'll have a lot of fun. I think you'll definitely learn something. Uh, the concepts are sometimes pretty big to wrap your head around, but the way that it's presented is very digestible. This show was presented in a way where, you know, it makes learning these concepts, these kind of larger concepts, really easy to wrap your brain around. As much as I love science content, what I notice sort of over and over is that a lot of science content is about space or black holes or, or biology. And the, the thing that, that I sort of, when I first started writing is like, you don't need a telescope, you don't need a microscope, you just need your own mind, right? Because the most beautiful things are actually just the concepts themselves. And that, that was sort of the, initial inception of, of this. I already love these ideas and we're trying to get the rest of the world to love them as well. And when the rest of your crew who are in the film industry come up and want to talk to you about the ideas, you know that you've done something right.